So if you're getting bored just playing your A minor the same way, just playing it as an open version or maybe a bar chord, then this video is for you. We're gonna look at a bunch of different ways to play it that'll make it sound really fancy, but in a really easy way. Some of them are a little tricky, but most of them are easy. But I'm gonna give you an example of how it sounds with me just playing with a mandolin player, playing through Knocking on Heaven's Door, G, D, and A minor. So check out what I do with the A minor. Let's give it a listen first, and I'll break down what I'm doing. So what do we have going on? We're going G, D, A minor. The first variation I was doing a lot of is just very simple, just play A minor seven. All you have to do is take your third finger off here. This is an A, it becomes a G, and that's what they call a minor seven. And it's just a more kind of jazzy version. And really anytime you see a minor chord, you can play it as a minor seven. I mean, generally speaking, and just use your ear and your discretion, but it doesn't mean you have to always match up, you know, it's fine. So there you go, that's it. Instead of that, play that. And then we can also play a variation where you play that G note on the top too. Right there. And that, you know, that, that voice right there, a lot of times I think of Rocky Raccoon from the Beatles. So anyways, I digress. But yeah, it's that Rocky Raccoon uh, chord there. And then you can also move some notes in between here. You can play like this note right here. So now you get some movement in between. Right? So another one that really opens it up is right here. Really getting spacey. And we're also gonna take a look at its D too. We're gonna do a little bonus chord here. We're gonna do D some ways to really open this up as well because you may have noticed from watching that performance that I was playing D a little differently too. So we'll check that out too. So this makes it A minor 9, and I'm not going to explain everything, what that means, but it doesn't really matter. You don't have to always know and understand everything, as long as you can just kind of know, you know, how and when to play it. You just use your ear. So this has got uh, this B right here, and that's what they call the ninth. So that really opens it up. So you've got a regular A minor, to that really spacey uh, sound there. And now another way of playing that is if you play regular A minor. But this note right here, that A again, if we move it up two frets, that's that B, that note we want. Technically this is an A add nine, actually. And uh, it, this is a little tricky. I've never tried this. It, you know, I've played this a lot, so I'm used to it, but I can still feel it in my hand right here. It's, it hurts. I can't play it for too long without really starting to feel it, you know? Um, but that, that note right here and this note, this B and C, they really clash, so it gives us some color. different way of doing it and now another way of doing it is playing it like this and I, I didn't do this in the video but this is another good way this is really the same as this right if you're playing uh, this like these three notes right here a B C and E B C and E but now we can get this note as well and then instead of having this E we don't have that E but um, we're putting an A on top so it's a little different and then the only open note is that open A there so a little different but that's good if you want to end a song you know like an A minor that sounds nice but this sounds even more kind of complete because this A if you're if you're say you're in A, in a minor um, is on top so it makes it sound more finished by hearing, by hearing that root on top and that's it so a handful of ways but you can use them a lot of times and you might not think about it just like oh it's a song with A minor just just try it you know really kind of opens things up and gives it a more colorful sound. Now to look at D, what was I doing there? Got our open D here. We just take this finger off here. A lot of people know this one already. If you don't, hey, great, new to you. Makes it a D sus too. So it opens things up, but then here's the good one. Right here, it's taking this C shape and just moving it up two frets. And you just play that. And that becomes a D, add nine, add 11. Again, don't worry about what that means, but you can use it a lot of times when you see a D chord. 
not always. You know, you gotta use your ear and you gotta know your sound and what you like to do to you, how far you wanna take it out. But for this kind of song, um, the approach I'm taking it is really taking uh, Knock on Heaven's Door kind of out there. Um, it works, I mean, it works perfectly, right? And now, if you wanna throw this on top here, this is the fifth of D and A. And that's just another way of doing it. So this way with an open E or with an A on top. And then the last one I'll show you is playing this D sus2, but playing it up here. So you're going A, E, D, and D. Just those four notes gives you that kind of spacey sound. You can hear, hear how those, those both work. It's just like a higher uh, version of the stuff. So if you found that playing these A minor and D chords and uh, this new way is really kind of transform how you're approaching chords. Check out my guitar course. It'll do the same for your guitar solos. I'm going to put a link in the description down below where you can check it out for more info and use the promo code TRANSFORM25 to get 25% uh, off. So check that out. And if you have your guitar, practice these things right now. And if you want to check out another video of mine, YouTube thinks that you will like this video right here. So check it out and I'll see you in the next video.